All right, guys, we're here with our second book. Our second book is called Dia de los Muertos, and it is by Roseanne Griffith Thong. And I just really wanted to share with you my culture and just how beautiful um, just celebrating life is. It doesn't have to be scary. So we're going to start our story. It's Dia de los Muertos. The sun's coming round as niños prepare in each pueblo in town. For today, we will honor our dearly departed. With celebraciones, it's time to get started. We got a lot to do. At home, we've adorned our altars with care. They're heaped with recuerdos and good things to share. Sweet caleveras, so sugary white. They give toothy smiles, but never a fright. Do I scare you right now? I shouldn't. <laughs> a black and white photo of Grandpa Padilla, who's riding on horseback, just like Pancho Villa. And toys for remembering, small angelitos, a train, a dollhouse, are both favoritos. A train, a dollhouse, are both, are both favoritos. Then off to the graveyard, we head with ofrendas and colorful blankets to make merendas. We carry incensos and velas to burn that will guide spirits back for their yearly return. This is the time every year that we celebrate their lives. And you can do that with anybody or even pets if you want. Just put together a nice little altar for them, burn a cute little candle. Just think about happy thoughts when you burn that candle. Happy, happy, beautiful thoughts of what you did together. And births of calendulas, fragrant and bright, the colorful sunsets and gold candlelight. A bath of petelos will help lead our, our guests to pillows and blankets for taking a rest. So we help guide their way back with these beautiful marigolds or calendulas. We put their petals down so that our family, our ancestors know how to get to us. Above we hang streamers of papel picado that wave in the breeze like a rainbow pintado. We giggle at paper cup ba uh, banners we like esqueletos riding a horse cart or bike. Esqueletos. They like watching, they like seeing the skeletons ride a horse or a bike. Esqueletos. We share in the foods that our guests love to eat. Fresh fruit and tamales, a holiday treat. And clay pots of grandmother's fresh chicken fresh chicken stew with mugs of atole and chocolatey brew. They're just eating with their ancestors. Having lunch with them, thinking about them. Eating their favorite treats with them. But everyone's favorite is sugary bread called pan de muerto with bones of the dead that offers our travelers a much needed snack from the weary viaje that brought them all back. Everybody loves pan de los muertos. Then after our lunch comes the part we love most, putting on makeup to dress like a ghost. Put 
putting on makeup to dress like a ghost. In veils and costumes, we join the parade. Although we wear huesos, no one is afraid. Although we wear bones, no one is afraid. Off to the parade. Gilberto has scars and a special corona. Annabel looks like the real Yarona, the real La Yorona. Joaquin shows white barba, sweeps down to the floor, while Luce looks like someone we've all seen before. Tiene un corona, y la llorona, un barba. And just as the marigold clouds end of the day, dancers and musicos come out to play. They wear special shells that go clickety-clack to wake up espiritos, calling them back. As candle flames glisten, our smiles are bright. Our ancestors know we are with them tonight. Look at una gran fiesta, great party. Una fiesta con toda familia y todos aquí. Big party with your family. Just enjoying yourselves together. Celebrating life. They return to their world without sadness or fear, knowing they'll stay in our hearts till next year. So they come out and hang out with us for the night, and then they know that next year they'll come back. We'll remember them till then. <laughs> Again, that one's called Dilos Muertos. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite times of year, especially just to celebrate, you know, those that has passed lives. It's a good time to to do that. Thanks for reading with me. Take care. Mm -hmm.